Winfred Vera, the mother of Slane Moy University student Ivy Wagasi, has dismissed the public apology by the further of the assailant. George Kanuthia, a Thugger Town businessman, is the father of Naphtaline Jai, who was yesterday charged in an Eldritch court with the murder of Wagasi. Wagasi was axed to death on Tuesday last week at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, Eldred, where she was a sixth-year student. Nera spoke to the news minutes after Kainuthu apologized to the family over his firstborn son's act. It's not easy to just accept and move on, she said. It's not easy for me and my family. All I want now is my peace to mourn and bury my daughter, Nera said adding that she has not privately spoken to Kainuthia or any of his family members. Kainuthia said at Eldred Law Courts that his family was too shocked after learning of the incident. He said that Njai, the firstborn in a family of four, was reserved and never had a criminal record. If I knew it would happen I would have done everything possible to stop it. Kainuthia had not complained to me about any problem and I just can't tell why this happened. We are sorry he said. Mera said she is still anguished after losing her daughter, her family's role model and mentor. She had on Sunday at Mukonjini faced tennis state home in Thika, said her life will never be the same again without her sweetest girl who used to buy her gifts, including during Easter. She'd bring me earrings, perfume, a purse or some fashion clothes. She was a great girl. She said that she did not know her daughter's assailant. Wagasi will be buried in Thursday at Mahiga village in Athia, Nyeri County. Senior elder at resident magistrate Nicho Demas Mosati yesterday allowed the police to hold Njai for 14 days to complete their investigations on the killing of Ivy Wagasi. Mosati ordered Kainuthia to be held at the neighbouring police station until April 30 when he will be brought back to court. Senior Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions Freedom Wanzia had told the court that they needed time to have Njai complete recording his statement. Your Honor he was admitted to hospital since the incident and we have not had time for him to complete recording his statement, Mwanzia said. She said they had taken samples from the suspect and the deceased for testing at the government chemist. The 28-year-old suspect is yet to undergo mental tests, the prosecutor said. Njai's lawyer Mbiyu Kamau said they also needed time to have Kainuthia treated for the injuries he sustained after being attacked by a mob. Your Honor he is complaining of headache and chest pains and he needs to be treated before he can be charged. Kamau said his client needed to be in a state where he will understand the charges he will be facing. The court ordered that Njai, who was composed and kept covering his face to avoid cameras, to be taken for treatment at Moy Referral Hospital. The court was packed. More than 20 relatives of the suspect were present. George Kainuthia said he had heard about the relationship between his son and Ivy. We are really sorry for what happened. This is really a difficult situation especially for the family of Ivy, he said. He is from Gatanga in Moranga. He said his family is yet to get in touch with Ivy's family but they are in talks with elders and church leaders to know how best to handle the situation. According to him, the two families knew each other.